today is the perfect, perfect day to target some yellowtail. Water is crystal, crystal clear. Have a look at that. I'm going to throw my, uh, my trusty green plug and see what, uh, what happens. It's looking good, so I'm hoping uh, to get something. So the whole key about fishing the spots is um, basically to be looking for fish. Uh, it's a nice clear day today, not a huge amount of wind, so um, you can see the fish uh, if they do come past. Um, so hopefully we'll see some fish, have a few casts at them. Um, otherwise most of the time is spent blind casting uh, and hoping that you get a fish. But uh, you know, the tricky thing about this spot too is that um, a lot of the times the fish aren't really feeding uh, when they move through this, this area. Uh, they tend to, to just be uh, moving along and they'll follow, but they're very hesitant to take your lure. Uh, but yeah, we can uh, we'll have a look and see what, uh, what happens, see if we can catch something. Um, it's also quite nice today, I'm the only one here. Um, I'm sure that'll change as everyone uh, finishes work. Um, but yeah, normally if you see a fish you want to try and sneak up to them quite uh, sneakily so that other people don't really uh, see you. So that you can at least have the first cast at the shoal. But yeah, let's, uh, let's have a few casts and see what we can get. What I really like about these chisel nose plugs is that um, they tend to jump on the water very similar to a, a bait fish in distress and uh, yeah the birds they absolutely well, the, the fish absolutely love them and uh, well, birds even will come down at them because they think it's a, it's a bait fish. Um, what we'll do is uh, let's have a look and see if you'll get a good view of them or of the action in the water. You can see now how it sort of skips and jumps over the water, just like a little bait fish in distress. And that is like yellow tail candy. Always scanning, looking for shoals potentially moving through. Can be quite hard to see. So, uh, I always want to look out for anything unusual. There was a splash in the water there, but that's a seal. Also, keep an eye on your lure because uh, a lot of the times, especially on the, with the long casts, uh, they'll follow your lure in. And sometimes you can bring a huge shoal of fish in um, and then just cast at them again and normally that's when you get your hook up
Also, if you are casting at fish, try and make sure that you don't cast right on top of them um, because a lot of the times that will spook them. Um, try and cast just in front of the shoal and uh, yeah, then they come snapping at you quite quickly. Hopefully we'll find a shoal today and I can show you exactly what I mean. Still jumping right out the water there. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. So I think I might have seen a piece out there. Could just be wind. Might be a school of fish. Gonna go and have a few casts today. see it but it's like a smooth bit of water out that way. It's moving the opposite direction of the wind which makes me think it could be a little bit fishy. Any problems is just out of casting range. So yeah, I've got a sneaky suspicion that's a piece of fish. I'm moving down this way so I'm gonna go to this little square section here. Just have a few casts out that way. Just keep an eye on it from here. So I've been keeping an eye on that spot for a while now. It does seem to be quite interesting. Gonna have a few other casts here while I wait. This is actually where I caught my very first yellowtail. It's from this exact spot. Is it? Quiet today, eh? I've been here since about half past three, yeah? I uh, haven't seen any fish, haven't seen any signs of fish. It's looking so moy, man. <laughs> uh, not personally, but I checked uh, on Saturday, I drove past here, I checked the oak of the fish. There's been some fish coming out, yeah? Oh, really, yeah? I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's looking good. Yeah. Oh no, the last few... Yeah, I know, I was cooking last year. Eh? Yeah, I know, the tides are perfect. Eh? Only problems today, you know, it's not a southeasterly that's blowing, it's changed to a bit of a westerly, and you want that southeaster to blow, pushes the fish in, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool shot, you too man. So I ended up getting a wind knot um, and uh, had to retie, decided okay well I'm going to retie my, my leader um, back onto my braid um, because I didn't want to try and undo the wind knot.
So I finished my knot, and then this happened. So I figured, well, well, let me just tie a new knot. Maybe that wasn't the greatest knot. And then this happened again. So uh, I tried to, to, to tie another knot, because so, I was tying an FG, but um, uh, it was some of the first FGs I'd, I'd ever tied, and I was hoping that uh, it was the knot, um, so I did a bimini twist and uh, joined it with a figure of eight to figure of eight, and uh, the knot broke again, and I realized my braid was well worn and I'd have to switch my braid around so that was the end of my fishing. Uh, thanks very much for watching um, if you want to see if I end up catching a fish or not subscribe to check out the future videos and uh, let me know what you felt or how you let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below and don't forget to give us a like. Thanks for watching.